Good morning, welcome to a brand new vlog. Today we're heading to Warner Brothers studio tour and then off to Toluca, Toluca Lake afterwards. We're just heading down the road at the minute from our Airbnb to a cute little French patisserie place that our Airbnb host recommended in like a booklet. Um, he kindly recommended a load of stuff, places to eat, places to visit, so that was really handy actually. Um, but we've passed it a few times and I was like, can we go grab something to eat there um, before heading back and grab, jumping in the car? I'm going to Warner Bros. Oh dear, there's glass all on the floor there. That's the first time we've really seen like glass or anything. The shoes are really weak. Give him a stomping. But yeah, hopefully just gonna grab like a coffee and a pastry or something, see what they have to offer in there. And then we're just gonna walk back up because it's literally five minutes away, um, jump in the car and head to the Warner Brothers studio tour. Apparently you can park there, I think parking something like $15. So that's what we're gonna do. And then Toluca Lake's literally around the corner from the area. So sounds like a good day ahead. This is our stop, Sweet Lily French Bakery Cafe. 7 till 4 p.m. weekdays, 7 till 4 p.m. on weekends. We've popped back to our Airbnb um, because we've only got like half an hour or less um, till we needed to be at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, so we just popped back here, it's not long. Um, we've got like little pastries to go, so I got a chocolate croissant, which is basically a pan of chocolat and a latte. Ryan got a chocolate twist, which looks really, really good. I thought that was all of it then. I was like, that was smaller than I thought. But yeah, we're just chilling on our little balcony here, taking in the views and um, gathering our breath after walking back uphill here. We were like, we've not walked back up yet. <laughs> we've only ever walked down and then got Ubers back or drove back. Remember we're on parking two, level three, Daffy Duck. We've just scanned our tickets and we've just come into this like little entryway with shows lots of different films, lots of filmmaking bits and yeah I think we head over there in a moment just to kind of join them on tour. They said there's tours running every 10 minutes so there was no rush so we're like half an hour early but we can just jump on a bit of an earlier tour so that's always good. We've got the birth of Warner Brothers here. Warner Brothers water tower there as well. I'm actually having a little meltdown here. This is Phoebe's guitar from 
friends. Oh my goodness. We've got friends. I'm so excited. I know. Oh. <laughs> So it shows here what's filming in production on the lot right now, the location of the stage numbers. Look at these, they're actually like little replicas of the stages. We've got like stage 16, the little models in here. That's so fun, I didn't realise that. When I was walking around I just assumed they were seats, but then I saw it said please do not sit and then I actually looked again and I was like, wow! <laughs> Put at the front, like we're gonna be next to the driver, <laughs> our tour guide. I feel very like VIP right now. We've got personal screen. Yeah, that one. Oh, <laughs> um, we've just done the first part of the tour. You couldn't actually film on it, but it was absolutely fantastic. Like we were like having the best time. We we got to go inside of a sound stage for everything. For all American. Yeah, for the um, series the All American. No, we haven't. But it was so interesting to see how it was all done we got to go walk inside the set of like the actual house it was so cool we got to see like the new york sets but, like we saw like where the gremlins was filmed like the famous spider-man upside down kiss was done there was a scene from Vac national lampoon's um, vacation what else so many so lots of scenes from friends i was having like an absolute meltdown i was like oh my gosh so much stuff so that bit we, we wasn't allowed to film but understandable it's absolutely incredible here and we've just stepped inside so we've finished the first part and now this bit um, you can just walk around at your own leisure I think you can film now from well from this point onwards we've got the friends um, fountain to see we're gonna get some food at this little central perk pit stop here we're gonna get the Joey special two pizzas <laughs> two eight inch pizzas. Uh, Ryan doesn't, Ryan's only seen like a few episodes of Friends here and there so he doesn't get all the references but Friends is my, the question, the question. yeah the guy was like asking like little questions about Friends episodes, it was like what did I, when Phoebe like bought a can of soda on the side of the street and he pointed out that's where it happened, he was like what did he find, I was like a fun, a fun. and <laughs> I'm like biggest friends, I'm well, not the biggest friends fan but like it's my favourite TV show so I'm having the best time so far. So you get all like different salads and things in here or sandwiches and stuff as well if you didn't want anything hot. Ooh, some of them look really nice, chicken Caesar wrap. You can get like, the theme cookies, the couch cookie, frame cookie, so you got the couch there, the little frame, oh cappuccino cup desserts, that's really cool. Yeah, some of these, oh yeah, some of these look so good. Got a little seat and we're waiting to be buzzed so we can collect our Joey special. You can just see over here. Ooh, when it focuses. There we go, the little entrance to the little pit stop there where you can grab a bite to eat. And then just over there we've got like a friend's shop that we're gonna go into after. And then I think we head in this bit here. I don't really know what's happening on the next section, but I'm very excited to find out. Our Joey special has arrived. We've got one margarita and one pepperoni to share, and we got a strawberry lemonade as well. Hot. Is it? It's really hot. It's blowing it. <laughs> it looks good though, but it was pricey because that on its own was like what 20, 22. Two, 22 dollars, which is very pricey, but I suppose it's what you're gonna pay at a place like this. <laughs> this view from our little seat here, you've got one of the stage numbers there. You can see the mountains in the background. You see the little tour guides going around. A nice cacti in front of us. This. This scenery right now is such a beaut. I'm in love. We were just saying how amazing it would be. Imagine working here, like being a writer or director or acting, act there's so many different roles, like working in a prop shop and things like that. It'd just be so cool coming here to work. Pizza was good, enjoyed that. Strawberry lemonade was good, enjoyed that. I think we're gonna head into the little shop next and then see what's next on the agenda. First we're going to actually walk into this little exhibit. Oh wow, 
It's got all photographs here from films. Well, the original Star is Born, 1954. Godzilla vs Kong in 2021. Music Man. So many films. The Bodyguard, Living Single, Casablanca, Crazy Rich Asians. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, Birds of Prey. So we've got stuff for All American here. So that's actually the soundstage that we went inside of. So we're definitely gonna watch a couple of episodes of that when we're back home just to see and compare because we've seen inside the house now. It's pretty cool. This is all the screenwriting bits here. Look at that. So we've got here like the character names and how they build them up. Ryan's got a little me, phone next to him. Getting started is very difficult because I'm convinced oh, wow. when I start writing and then I have absolutely no talent and I can't possibly actually do this. It's very daunting. You well, can't, sit and so you can't so. really think about, all right, I'm going to sit here. This is amazing. They've got um, the storyboard we section we here. So we've got literally storyboard drawings, illustrations, just to map out the scenes. How incredible does that look? That will go on for 10 or 11 months. This is the casting section. So we've got all photos of people, their names, and like some of them have got ages and things. So I'm guessing this is how they'll display. Over to the Warner Brothers animation section now. Look at these. We've got like illustrations, Bugs Bunny, the Flintstones, Yogi Bear. Animaniacs and Pinky and the Brain. Oh, honestly. I'm absolutely buzzing right now. This is so interesting and fun to look at. And some of the original like little drawings and stuff. The Iron Giant. And concept art. Brian's building his own costume box. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> oh, get a little hat on him. Looking great. <laughs> what shoes are you going to give him? Yeah. Oh, like the brown ones. Or black. Black or brown. There we go, you did it. This is the costume from the latest Elvis movie. Wow. I think it's just calm down a sec because in the next room. Yeah. Why? You'll find out. Do you want to hold the camera? <laughs> it's his friend's photo experience and I've not seen it yet, but. Who's in here? Off your back, you can sit down. Yes. We need a photo on there, but get it on your phone. Take it. One, two, three. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? We just got a photo on the, in the friend's set on the couch. I'm literally buzzing right now. I can't believe that's the original set, he said. Like, not replica, the original. I can't believe it. And in here, we've got like Big Bang Theory set. So if you're a fan of Big Bang Theory, we go. We've got some different scenes here for you. I'll hold that there. 
We're queuing up for a Big Bang Theory photo opportunity. Stairs go to nowhere. We actually all have to get very intimate down here with this. He has to hold my leg. That's part of my own, my own process. That was so much fun. We had like little photo opportunities in the Big Bang Theory. There was two of those that we did. We just gave them the little card with the QR code that we were given for the friends one. And I'm guessing at the end we'll get the opportunity to buy them. So it'll be interesting to see what they turned out like. And here we've just carried on the exhibition. So we've got above me, we've got the creating visual effects section. So it says here about production footage, adding layers, and then the final product, which is really, really interesting to see all the different stages that it takes to get your full scene. Oh, wow. We've just been doing like the green screen footage photos that you can do at the Warner Brothers Harry Potter studio tour thing. Um, <clears throat> we did them for a bit of fun and it was good. And then we've been over there to scan our QR cards to see all the photos that we've taken. And I said to Ryan, I was like, I really want to get a friend's one. I don't know what packages they do. <laughs> and you get per photo, it's 20, well, you get $25 for, for, a, for a free first photo. An extra $17 for every, one for every other photo. I had a video on the broomstick and I was like, oh, how much are the digital videos? Not digital. How much are the videos? And he was like, $40. I was like, I think I'm just going to take one photo, please. $25, you get a digital version of it. But I got a friend's one because I'm absolutely obsessed with friends. Not showing great in the lighting, but yeah, that's it there. And then I get a digital one as well. But yeah, that's my little take home from here. Twenty-five dollars for a photo. How insane is that? It's got here all the green screen, so that's what we just did for the photos. But yeah, very very spenny. We're gonna head into post-production. We've got six minutes until the art of sound is on, so we're not sure what that is, but we're gonna jump into that. I think so this is all about the sound. Sound at me. Oh, different sound effects. Walnut, walnut sound like Oh wow! Dog food cans can be opened to create alien or mon alien or monster vocalizations. <laughs> what? Inflated balloons are used for numerous sounds, including monster groans and roars. This is so interesting. Scissor blades are tapped against each other to replicate the sound of a clock ticking. Wow! Yeah, uh, yeah. Fair play. <laughs> That's really cool. Bubble wrap can be crinkled, twisted to sound like crackling fire. Wow. What are yeah. you doing? There you go. And then you just gotta wait for it to fill in. <laughs> That's what it sounds like before. Ah. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I'm gonna add a little grit here before I do her footsteps. I'm using the coffee grounds. Are you ready to be the bad guy? Yeah. I'm gonna play him in a little heavier shoes instead of those tennis shoes. Perfect. Okay, Darren, you want to do the full blades? Yeah, sure. This would be so fun to work in sound. Let's do some body blocks. Ready for the body call? Yep. Okay, let's go. What? Place palm over the sensor and raise. I am. <laughs> uh, oh, there it is. Uh. Keep, keep your hand over the sensor. Okay. Bring it back towards you. There you go. And then, ah. Uh, Thank you. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. I uh, hope I see you're a Harry Potter fan. Great choice. Alright, when it's time to record, you're going to hear some countdown beats, and your script will appear at the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. Just wait along with the script. <laughs> <laughs> 
But before you record, I'm going to play the original scene for you to review. So pay close attention to Harry and the timing of the board. Christmas, Harry. Happy Christmas, Laura. What are you wearing? I gotta do it. Um, I don't know. It looks like you got one too. You've got presents. Yeah. Okay, picture is up. Get ready. Right, get ready. Got to talk it. Act it out. Happy Christmas, Harry. What are you wearing? Um, one lady. Looks like you've got one too. I've, I've got presents. Yeah. Did you even do bit, the first one? Yeah, I was a bit rusty on the first one. I, I, I got stay fro. <laughs> yeah, I panicked there. Ignore that bit. <coughs> oh, no, Looks like you've got one too. I've, I've got presents. Okay, ignore the first one. Yeah, go. Are you gonna do it? Yeah, I'll have a go. Yeah. I'll do something, I'll, I'll do Matrix. Alright, the Matrix. Classic choice. You ready to go? I'm gonna give you a countdown and your script will appear at the bottom of the screen along with a timing drum. Just read along with the script. But first, I'm going to play the original scene for you to review. Pay close attention to Morpheus and the timing of the dialogue. Alright, here we go. Oh, no. So this is the winner. Story so it shows you it all first. Just to give you a little taster. Stay in one you can do it, you can do it. Go, go, go. <laughs> Get ready to record. You take the blue pen, the story as it is. You wake from your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pen, you stay at one and I show you how deep the rabbit hole gets. <laughs> Show you how deep the rabbit hole is. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be laughing at the end. <laughs> so bad. That's so bad. That was so fun, wasn't it? Like a good little interactive piece there. The sound section post production is really fun and interesting to watch. And like, like we went and watched it, the little bit there to show how gravity was filled. Well, a scene from gravity and all the layers of the sound. It was really, really interesting. It was so funny hearing the back voices without anything else it was so odd and into the friends shop now oh my god it's Joey and Chandler's chair oh this is amazing oh they've got actual like clothing here we've got Matthew Perry's Chandler Bing costume yeah it is yeah it is <laughs> And we've got Joey costume here as well. Oh my goodness. I love this so much. We're just chilling in Joey and Chandler's chairs. <laughs> they are really comfy. How are you doing? How much is that? $59.95. That's cool. Yeah, that is really cool. I like that. They've got the foosball table. Right. Want a game of foosball, right? <laughs> Where's the little ball? There it is. <laughs> I can't, I'm trying to do it one handed, like. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Come on, guys. <go. laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, that was um, me one handed doing that. <laughs> got over here more photo opportunities this is so fun I love this yes please oh we've got a Phoebe costume here oh, 
Oh my goodness. Do you think you fit for the guitar? Yeah! Oh my goodness, there's so much friend stuff. Then we've got like a section of like to make it look like Monica's apartment. You're right down there. <laughs> Just chilling. I know this is just set for this, but it's still really, really cool. And we got over here, Courtney Cox's Monica Geller costume. Oh, wow. We've got Rachel and Ross's costumes here. Oh, I love all of this. They got the Friends official cookbook. I wonder if it's got um, Rachel's English trifle in there. <laughs> I laugh so much if it has. Ryan probably hasn't got a Scooby what I'm on about on there. What's it say? Has it? Rachel's famous baked potato and diet cola. No, I was wondering if it had like the, um, as a joke, like the trifle. No, desserts. Mm. Rachel's meat trifle. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> oh. It's from season one. Oh, it's cool. It says where it's from. The one where Ross got high. <laughs> That's really fun. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen anything like this. It's $79.95. I love it. Oh. Got all cushions here, too. Ryan's back here again. They are super comfy. <laughs> Night. All right, all right, I'm done. I'm done. Come on, let's move on to the next bit. <laughs> We're heading over to the friends' fountain for pictures. Yeah. Oh, God. oh my gosh, I'm like buzzing out again. Just having the best day. There she is. There's the fountain. Oh my goodness. Somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. The fountain actually used to be somewhere else, and then they chopped it in half and moved it here. Yeah. 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 Thank you. We're at the final leg of the tour now. So we've got DC, Harry Potter, and apparently Game of Thrones as well. Can't wait for that. It's so amazing that we get to see some of the real costumes that the actors and actresses got to wear. You know when they got oh. the golden crown put pulled onto his head? Yeah. Sarah's Stagger. Yeah, yeah, the that's the pot and belt. Pot and belt. Oh wow. The costume worn by Daenerys Targaryen, aka Amelia Clark. I love Amelia Clark so much. Got here guys the Batmobile. Wow, look at it inside. Whoa. The 2022 Batman costume there worn by Robert Pattinson. Got the back pod here from the Dark Knight. How cool is that? It was also in 2008. I can't believe that. This is from Batman vs Superman, and this is the Batmobile from Batman 1989. It's crazy that they're just all in here. into the Harry Potter section. Got the map there from the Prisoner of Azkaban. I had no idea that 17 and a half flying cars were created for the Chamber of Secrets. We was just wondering because there was like, well, they've got one of the cars up there and we were getting confused because we were like, 
we have a lot of the stuff back home at the Harry Potter studio tour and then they've got stuff here but there's so many things that were created multiple times so I suppose we have some they have some but that's so cool I had no idea that they created that many it's over here is this fantastic beast oh wow oh look at the windows <laughs> look at him go <laughs> they're from fantastic beast Look how cute they look! <laughs> There's a little photo opportunity bit here as well where you can put your little camera on the camera mount. <laughs> There's nothing hidden in your head the sorting hat can't see. So try me on and I will tell you where you ought to be. You have a love of learning, but the brain like yours, it has to be Ravenclaw! Oh my gosh! <laughs> There's nothing hidden in your head the sorting hat can't see. So try me on and I will tell you where you ought to be. Honorable to the core, a head like yours is a joy to see. <laughs> we have come into the little greenhouse area and you can pull out mandrakes in herbology. <laughs> oh, look at them. <laughs> look at their little faces. Ah! <laughs> Do you want a picture? You're making it hurt. Got another cool photo up there so you stand behind there and you've got it in front of the fireplace yeah. over here we've got a little silicone dobby figure <laughs> he looks a little bit wired i'm not gonna lie <laughs> invitation to hogwarts and we've got harry's spectacles it's pretty cool and then over here behind ryan we've got Harry's little cupboard, his little room. Oh, you can go in it. That's pretty cool. Can't do that back home. Wow. It's a bit more roomy than I imagined, but obviously not that much room. Little, fi little figures on the shelves. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. Little T.Y. bear. <laughs> Cute, cosy. You get in, I'll close you up. No. You don't like it? No, don't trap me in. <laughs> Covered under the stairs. There we go. Over here you can do interactive little potion making. Ooh. Yeah. Add a dash of standard ingredients. Yeah. Yeah. Unicorn horn. Mistletoe berries. Where's that? Got it? And then touch the wand. Well done, Ryan. You're good at potion classes. It's turned in different colours. Lego movie in 2014. We've got some little figures there from it. <laughs> Come into the gift shop now. So we've got to the end of our journey. It's been so good. Absolutely love it. Um, this, this gift shop's massive. There's so much to look around. I'm going to pick this up for my brother. It's Warner Brothers Studio Tour little spirit jersey thing. So I thought it was really, really nice little black one. Um, we're just browsing around the area at the minute. We've got big bang, thing, big bang theory stuff here. We've got Luke's diner mugs and bags. Oh, we've got lots of magnets and key rings and stuff in here as well. We've got like Scooby Doo, Tom and Jerry. Oh, how cute! <laughs> and little paint pots there. Oh wow, they've got um, Bugs Bunny spirit jersey there. And a big Bugs Bunny. Got lots of bits. Got wizard's chess here. I wonder if they'll start whacking each other. <laughs> that would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? This would be amazing setup at home. Oh, there we go. It's four hundred dollars for the final challenge chess set. So we've ended our tour in the little Starbucks. I've got the pink drink. Um, my first one of the trip, which is crazy because I've been saying how 
I really wanted to try pink drink. I mean, I've had it before, but I have one this holiday. And Ryan's trying the dragon drink. I've never seen this one before. I don't know if it's new this year, if they always do this one, but this one looks really good too. And our view right here is in front of the Triwizard Cup. How insane. It's so good. I highly recommend anyone coming to LA to go to the Warner Bros. Studio Tour because it's absolutely phenomenal. There's so much to look at. You learn so much. It's just all in all an amazing experience. I've had such a good time. How long have we been in there? It's gone three o'clock. I think we got here about 11, didn't we? Wow, it's about four hours we were. Um, they usually say it's about three hours, but we really just took our time. We had lunch and everything as well. We chilled, so yeah, good amount of time. We finished up at the studio and we've just Ryan parked up on the side of the road somewhere down. We're in Toluca Lake. We're just having a little walk around here. Our Airbnb host recommended it. So we're just having a little mooch. We've got a couple of hours to kill before we've got a reservation at a place called the Smokehouse. So looking forward to that. But there's lots of veggie places here. It's like veggie grill, like salad places, juices. There was a vegan restaurant. So it's really, really cute around here. Oh, ready to walk. <laughs> but yeah, we're just mooching really. Just seeing what's around in the area. It's very cute. Cultivate your community. A little poster. Amongst all the beautiful flowers. And there's like um, little signs everywhere. It says Toluca Lake 100 years. So they're celebrating that this year. We've got a big Bob's Big Boy original double deck hamburger place. And then right in the distance, you probably can't tell on the camera. You can see maybe a little line. You can see all the mountains there. There's a little theatre here. Oh wow, Jane Austen unscripted tea at Pemberley. Oh my goodness. How adorable. This little box office. This is so cute. Like Bridgerton, but improv. I bet that's so good actually, watching an improv, like an improv show. Oh, I love it. Look at the little graffiti of the dogs. Oh, hmm? look at the graffiti of the dogs. <laughs> Got Japanese barbecue over the road there. There's a chip, chip shop. shop. Tacos. Irish fish. Ooh, Irish fish and chips. Ooh, chipotle. Yeah, I know. I wonder what it's like. Nothing on ours. I <laughs> refuse to get fish and chips. I remember when we got fish and chips in the free broomsticks, is that what it's called, in Orlando? And it just wasn't, I don't even know why I got fish and chips, but yeah, it wasn't great. Red Maple Cafe. It's a right cute little area. It's like really cutesy, quiet little place. There's people out drinking coffee on the streets. It's really sweet. So apparently Toluca Lake is this place is where it's home to many film stars, isn't it? Like film stars have lived here for many, many years. Okay. But, yeah, apparently. This is according to the, like the notes that we've been left on our air, from our Airbnb house. Um, we've got 23 seconds to walk, but <laughs> um, yeah, apparently um, it's been home to many stars for many years. However, so many other people live here, but have never seen the lake because there is actually a lake and they've lived here for like years and years and years and never seen the lake because all like the mansions and big houses are like around the lake so the only reason you would ever see it is if you lived in one of those or if you were a member of one of the, gol the big golf course that they have here you can kind of see the lake from there so we won't see the lake today either um, but how crazy is that like people have lived here for so many years and just never seen the lake in Toluca Lake they live here but yeah we've seen on the map like they're all dotted around the houses are all the way around it so yeah it's pretty cool I'm gonna pop into a Trader Joe's and have a little mooch around a little plastic we've got some raspberries because we love raspberries look how cute it is in here it's like a proper little grocery store everything looks so cutely like arranged and organized some little apples these colourful carrot coins in the frozen section. There's so much more than at home. I love coming into supermarkets when you're away. These shortbread, purple yam shortbread cookies, Belgian cookie assortments, pink and white.
it's a little bit later. So last time I, shot, I showed you was Trader Joe's. So we got a few bits from there and we actually went back to the Airbnb because it was five minute drive away and we had still a bit, we had about an hour and a half to kill. Um, so we went back there and then I got changed and we've come back out to the smokehouse. This place is like used, well, it's, it's a restaurant, it's beautiful, but so many stars come here as well, like which is crazy. Unfortunately, we've not seen anyone that we recognise at the minute. <laughs> but we're, we're, we're going all out, we're having ribeye steak each. It's going to be a very nice meal. The atmosphere in here is really nice. It feels like very oldie worldy Hollywood, doesn't it? Mm. It's so cute. Um, got a glass of red wine. I can't wait to do it. Oh, and I ordered a cup of a clam chowder soup to try because I've always heard like so many good things about clam chowder soup like in California, so I'm like, I want to try it. I'm really very much looking forward to it, but it's very like moody lighting in here. It's very, it's very nice. We have the paper around there. Yeah, good point. When we, it has parking and it's only valet parking and we asked if we could park ourselves and they were like, valet parking only. Eight dollars. We have we'll pay in after when we go back out. But yes, yeah, so they went and parked our cars. They took the keys, and um, we have to pay them eight dollars when we leave, which is fine. Uh, it's not happened up, up until now, has it? My little clam chowder soup has come out, which looks really nice. And we've got oyster crackers as well. With that, how cute! Okay, the food has come and this looks absolutely incredible. We've got the ribeye steak, medium rare. I got the chips or fries, whatever you call them, steak fries. I got peppercorn sauce and then it comes with veggies as well. Ryan got the exact same as me, but he got mash instead of chips. And yeah, it just looks so good. I can't wait to eat this. And update on the clam chowder, it was top notch. It was absolutely beautiful. I'm so pleased I ordered that to try. It was delicious. Hello! Oh my goodness, I look so bad. I've got my hair in this and oh, I look red. Um, did the same thing again. It snip, snap, snipped from the smokehouse. Oh, so good. To the next morning. <laughs> it's becoming a um, a routine now, isn't it? Um. The smokehouse was so good. Food was really good. The service was quick. The was, our server was absolutely lovely. The woman was so, so nice. And um, our bill came to $112. We ha both had a ribeye steak. I had a cup of the uh, clam chowder. I also had a glass of red wine and Ryan had a large Coke. So all in all, $112 and a tip on top. However, the, we had to pay $8 for valet parking. <laughs> which we didn't know about. So I highly recommend going there. Um, if you're not around like the area, if you don't have a car, maybe get an Uber. Yeah, the food was really, really good. I'm pleased we went, it was so lovely. We got a little postcard done as well. The lady came around with a camera. She was like, we're offering free postcards. Did you want your picture taking? So we were like, yeah, go for it. So this is how it turned out. Come on, focus, there you go. <laughs> it's quite cute. But then she had printed the photo out on some other frames and she was like if you want to buy these is $15 each and we were like we're good yeah we were literally like about done paying for all these different photos um <laughs> even though we only bought one that day I'm scarred from paying $25 for one print out photo but I had to get it because it was on the friend set so you know I won't talk about that anymore <laughs> But all in all, the food was really good. I highly recommend the smokehouse. Um, I think I mentioned in one of the clips that apparently lots of stars, like film stars and stuff, go there. Because it's literally over the road from Warner Brothers um, studio. Um, so, so many people go over there. We saw, we heard like a big group of people talking that they clearly work in the film industry. So, and I don't know what they do, but like we could hear them. They were like proper talking about their work. And I don't know if it was like a work kind of meeting, but... Yeah, we were just kind of earwigging a little bit like, mm, what they do? It's just so interesting. Like, people's lives are so, so different to ours. But it was a really, really cool experience. Highly recommend. Um, yeah, I'm about to have, this is not a breakfast thing at all. Well, yeah, yeah. I got it yesterday from Trader Joe's. It is a blueberry and lemon butter hand pie and i tell you what i had one last night as a dessert when we got back and it was absolutely incredible it's not a healthy breakfast at all but it was delicious <laughs> so i'm just gonna eat that i'm gonna get ready for the day so i will leave this vlog here stay tuned for the, our final like last full day we're heading to malibu today i think that's the plan so 
that should be really good i'm really excited to go there and it'd be a nice way to round off the trip to be honest ready for a, a long travel day the next day <laughs> but anyway if you've stuck around this far well done um give it a like if you've enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one bye Cause we're all California, I love